Uh, okay, suppose we want to apply the Gauss uh, elimination method to solve this system of linear equations 2x1 minus 3x2 plus 3x3 and uh, uh, plus x1. So it should be x1 minus 2x2 plus 3x3 is equal to minus 2 and minus x1 plus 3x2 should be 3x2 plus x3 is equal to 4. So uh, we can uh, write uh, its uh, augmented matrix in this uh, using this uh, uh, command. So for example, we can first define a variable A to represent this matrix, uh, augmented matrix A. So we can write in the row form. Okay, so the rows we can uh, enclose in these uh, curly brackets, each row. So 2, minus 3, 10, minus 2. And similarly, these rows we can enclose in these curly uh, brackets. And then in the end, there will be a curly bracket for the whole uh, matrix so this is the standard one of the form uh, to represent the matrix in Mathematica and if you if we want to show it in the matrix uh, form instead of a list then we can apply this command matrix form outside of this variable so if I want to execute it so then it will show like this so you can see that it is the it is showing the uh, uh, matrix form uh, next, uh, uh, I want to uh, apply the uh, Gauss elimination method. So for the Gauss elimination method, it will be convenient if I interchange these row 1 with row 2. So for the interchange of row 1 and row 2, I will write it like in this uh, format. So here it is a specific format which will, uh, in, which will show the positions of the rows. So for example, if I write a and then I will write in the subscript formats. A then it will be a subscript. So there will be two uh, left brackets and then two and then two right brackets and then uh, comma and uh, then it will be uh, it will show maybe I a little bit. So then uh, this two shows that we are taking the second row at the position of the first row okay and then uh, if one over here is showing that we are taking the first row at the position of the second row and the third row will remain the same so in this way we are simulating that the uh, rows are interchanging so if i execute it so i can see that now this uh, one minus two three minus two which was which was the second row before is now the first row and the first row is now the second row so the next step will be to uh, make these two coefficients as zero. So for making these coefficients as zero, so I will apply a row operation, uh, something like this. So for example, in this case, the first row will remain the same. So I will represent this first row over here and then minus two times uh, the first row, okay? Two times the first row and then plus to the uh, add to the second row so that this this i am placing at the place of the second row and similarly uh, for eliminating this uh, minus one to zero so that means i will be adding the uh, first row to the third row so if i ex execute it then i will get uh, like this okay in the matrix form and the next step in the gauss elimination method is now is, is that you want to make this as zero because this will be the this will then help us to reduce in the uh, it it into the echelon forms. So here, what I will do is uh, I will take uh, first row as it is, second row as it is, and then what I will do is I will take the negative of the second row and then add it to the third row. So if I will do it, so I, then I will see that I get this value. So this uh, now condition is now in the row echelon form. So now, uh, since in this case, the last row is completely zero, so uh, we will get a solution in terms of the a free variable. So anyway, now the uh, this matrix has been converted into the row, into the echelon uh, form. So a solution can be obtained.
So here we have seen that uh, there is uh, uh, no uh, a direct uh, command to apply the Gauss elimination method. And the reason is because the Gauss elimination method uh, is uh, not a unique uh, uh, method. That means the operations which here which we perform are not the unique operations. So for example, uh, in this case, we could have adopted a different uh, sequence of operations. So maybe we could not. Uh, maybe we. Maybe what we can do is we don't need to interchange these first and second row in this case. So maybe we could directly go ahead by. Uh, zeroing these values right from the beginning so in this in that case we would have got some other uh, form of the cost elimination method so maybe it's because of this reason there is no direct command for the cost elimination method uh, however uh, for uh, gauss jordan elimination method there is a command which is called as the uh, row reduce so that can be used uh, to convert the matrix into a uh, uh, reduced echelon form yeah so the reduced echelon form is actually uh, um, a unique form so for this there is a command available so let, let me show you that uh, so for example uh, we have this uh, system of uh, equation and uh, Okay, so if we have this system of equations, so maybe I let me, and I want to solve it using the Gauss-Jordan elimination method. So, so for this, I can write the uh, augmented matrix first, matrix in the matrix form. So maybe I call this as matrix B. Okay, and then uh, two curly brackets first, one comma minus two comma minus three curly bracket close comma then curly bracket one comma minus one comma minus two and then curly bracket close uh, no uh, that will be uh, comma one and then curly bracket close then comma then curly bracket and then minus one comma three comma five comma two and then curly bracket close and then curly bracket close so in this case i get uh, this uh, augmented matrix here i should also add minus one so yeah minus uh, one minus two so maybe i can check it and then close this uh, matrix form bracket and then close it so now I can see that 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1, 1 minus 1 minus 2, 1, 1, 3, 5, 2. Okay. So for the Gauss Jordan elimination method, it is very easy because there is just one command row reduce. Okay. And then I will put B over here and then close the bracket, uh, capital B, and then close bracket and then execute it so i will get like this so to make it more clear so i can change it to the matrix form so in the matrix form what i have got like this so in fact uh, this uh, first uh, three by three matrix this is the reduced echelon form and then here we have these uh, uh, solution. So this means that x1 will be 2, x2 will be 3, x3 will be minus 1. So Gauss Jordan elimination is uh, quite easy to perform over here because there is just a unique uh, solution.